I will praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O my God. Unto thee will I sing with the harp, O thou holy one of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee, and my soul which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought unto same that seek my hurt. Verses 22 and 23 are self-explanatory. Praises should be sung to his truth as well as to him. See Psalm chapter 98 verse 5. These praises were sung to the word and words of God, knowing that he was the Holy One of Israel. Thy truth is the truth of Psalm chapter 138 verse 2 and John chapter 17 verse 17. Then sings my soul, my Savior, God, that he is scriptural according to verse 23, which says that the psalmist will not only sing to God with his lips, but also with his soul. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. The redeemed soul of the child of God in the New Testament hasn't just been redeemed from physical death, as is the case here. See Genesis chapter 13 verse 20 verse 13, chapter 19 verse 20, Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4. They are confounded, brought unto shame, verse 24. This was prayed for back in Psalm chapter 70, verse 2, and applies primarily to Christ's enemies. If David is the writer, it can be fulfilled in 2 Samuel chapter 18, verse 17, and 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 8, and 42 to 46, see me. Great verses these are for also to praise and sing, even thy truth, O my God. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing. My tongue shall also talk of thy righteousness. Singing, praising, rejoicing, and talk of thy righteousness, of God's righteousness. You can also have his righteousness, God's righteousness, by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.